Hey YouTube, uh, Robbie here, gonna give you guys my deck profile for YCS Philly. Um, I'll have a link description below. Round two, I got a feature match, and you guys can uh, read that there. Um, I played a deck that I barely tested with, and that just came out recently. I played uh, Herotic. Um, I know that I just did the intro video for you guys two weeks ago when the deck first came out in the pack, um, and I kind of described some of the cards to you guys, but we'll go through it. Uh, first off, I played Triple S Set. Um, Asset's really, really key uh, to get the normal summon off, and then his effect actually using uh, copy levels is really effective because um, at times I would have him, another monster, and a normal monster, and I would make an Atom and tribute him off for uh, Neb that or Shu that I brought out from Atom. So, like, learning the combos with that is really strong. So, having three of him is necessary. Uh, double Tefnit. I didn't like the triple. Uh, he clogged in hand sometimes. I know you can tribute him for Neb that or Shu from hand, but. Uh, two is better because it was just more consistent that way. Uh, he's a cyber dragon, if you guys don't know what he does exactly. Uh, Shu, he's an MST. Um, he was probably the best besides Set all weekend. Um, overall, he was powerful. Uh, one Neb that I hated this card so many times, I would draw him as my only monster and that's it. Um, but he kills monsters, so he's effective. Um, so that's the Heretic monsters. Uh, I didn't play any other... Um, Heretic monsters like the rank 8 or the rank 4, the level 4 or whatever. Uh, and then I play one Luster, one Watt Tail Dragon. Um, you need one of each because one gets changed in appearance, you lose. So you need those. Uh, you need three Darkness Metals, that's what I played. Um, even though I know Gustav's not out yet, three is really sacky. Uh, there's a way if you open two Herotics and one of these in your hand, uh, you can still do 8,000 even if they have Gores. So uh, you need him in the deck. And then Hand Traps, I played Triple Veiler. Uh, Valor is just necessary this format because of Rabbit and Sector and all that bullcrap. And then Gores. Gores won me so many games. Um, so yeah. And then Spell Lineup. I played a uh, Triple Space. One Heavy. Gotta kill Back Roads because it's a combo deck. Reborn. Uh, if you open this and a way to stop all the Back row, you win the game, basically. Uh, Dark Hole. So yeah, like those three staple cards. Uh, two Duality. I like the Dover Card Card D because it crafted my hand more instead of drawing the random cards that I didn't quite want to need at the time. And then three Convocations, a uh, simple road of the deck. Um, and then Traps, I played 11. I played a uh, double Traps done. I flipped this up, normally meant game. Um, most people didn't expect it, so yeah. Uh, double Compulse, this card was really powerful this weekend as well. Uh, got over to Zen Mains a lot quicker, got over Utopia a lot quicker, uh, just other random stuff like that. Double Warning and Solemn, just necessary for the deck. Uh, and then my other tech cards, I played Double Ajama Trio. Most people are wondering why I played this card, and I'll get into it in a minute or two, so just wait for that. Then I played Double Safe Zone. Honestly, this card sucks. I didn't really ever use it once. I sat it out almost every game. Um, so I'm probably going to take this out for two Birdmans or something else. So that's the main deck. It's 40 cards, even. Um, I'll get into the extra on the side really quickly. Uh, we have one of each rank 5 uh, seed monsters. Um, these are necessary to keep in the extra, but to be honest, I played zero of these all weekend. Uh, Triple Atom, uh, he's the, um, starter of the combos with the Darkness Metals. He's retardedly broken. You don't always have to get Darkness Metal with his effect. You can get other Heretic Monsters. Uh, Bouncer, he's probably the MVP of the extra deck. Um, he just was amazing, uh, and him plus Safe Zone was really powerful. Um, and then Force Focus. I used him a few times, uh, mostly went into Gaia with him instead, but he's really strong, I'm not going to lie. Uh, triple Gaia, he, you I mean, double's pretty good too, but like, dribble's better, because you can just, like, swarm the field and then just swing with three really quickly, uh, after using three atoms. Uh, so that's all the exceeds I used, and then sinkers I had, uh, Baronic, Ancient Sacred Wyvern, and Scrap Dragon. I made each of these once, didn't make him a single time. He came out at over 6,000, which was ridiculous, and the Scrap Dragon didn't really do anything but kill a uh, Malefic Cyber End. Uh, side deck was Soul Taker. This was better than Smashing overall the weekend. Uh, these went from a dollar to $15 in a matter of a week. Uh, makes Pulsar and the Shining is timing, so I had to play that. One Malevolent Catastrophe. This was probably MVP all weekend in the side. Um, bad Kid ran into it, and it was normally a plus two or three. Um, Roll Decree. Good card, those were Chain Burn mostly, or Rabbit. Um, didn't really ever see it. Uh, double Chaos Trap Hole. 
uh, it's so versatile against a lot of the meta right now, so I decided these two, and uh, honestly I didn't like it that much, so it's probably gonna come out of the side. Double Virus, uh, this card, great in the mirror, getting against Kyle Dragon and against Rabbit, so I sided this in, and, uh, I drew it once or twice, and it helped at those times, but besides that, I mean, it was decent, um, 2 DD Crow, just DD Crow against Insectors, it's just good. Uh, 2 Drago, great card versus Chaos Dragons and uh, other decks that have like a crap ton of lights and darks. And if you can, if you can read the gores, uh, and you know that your opponent's going to keep gores in, or if they side fader, you just summon him at the end of your chain, and it's really good. 2 Victoria, Mirror Match, and Chaos Dragons, just a really strong card to use in the side. And then 1 Prime Material for Chaos, I mean, um, Chain Burn, which I never played. Um, I'll get into what I played against all around all day. Round one, I played against a little kid. He looked like Justin Bieber. Um, no lie. He played a 60 card deck that had XYZ Dragon Cannons and stuff, so I 2 owed him super, super hard. I, I felt kind of bad. Uh, uh, table, or I was table one, round two. I got a feature match. I played against Insectors. Um, you can read the feature match below. Uh, it doesn't go full into all the plays I made, um, but. I destroyed the kid game one after almost losing 26 to 65. And then game two, I just he destroyed me because then my hand was so weak. And then game three, I took a big beating in the beginning of the game. And I put him down from 6,000 to 13 in a single turn. And then he couldn't hit back because he had no cards to my like six. So card advantage was a thing. Um, round three, I played against windups. I uh, beat this guy. I otk in game 3. It was 2-1. Uh, round 4, I played windups again. It was one of my friends, AJ. Uh, game 1 was back and forth, and then it was a saw dark hole, and it was solemn, solemn, and then he went toward after game, because he had to start any of the loops. And then game 2 and 3, Bouncer just controlled the game, and I just otk him pretty hard. Uh, round 5, I was at table 2, so I'm on the website again. I played against Dark World. Uh, I 2 would this kid. It was really effectively easy. Uh, game 1, he poked me once with a Grappa, and then I OTK'd him. And then Game 2 was a little bit of a, like a longer game, but I made him, like, Heavy Storm, and I knew he had a Road. So I MST'd, and so he couldn't respond with the Road. And that put him at uh, one card in hand, and he had a Grappa in Grave. So he summoned the Snow, and I uh, DD crowed the Grappa, and he was just at Snow. So I came back and beat him that way. Um, round 6, I played against Heroes, a uh, guy beat me, game 3. Uh, I only drew Ned Fett, Baylor, and DD Crow, so, whatever. Uh, round 7, I played against Rabbit. Game 1, he destroyed me, I couldn't do a single thing. Against Laggy, Laggy, Doka. Game 2, he went uh, Doka, Pass, um, and I beat him, like, really quickly with no TK. I was down to 100. And he still had 39, but I beat him. And then game three, um, he went Saber Source Swing, and I had Trap Stun, Heavy Storms, and then went off, and he couldn't recover. Uh, round eight, I played against another windup, and the guy looped me. I beat him, and then he looped me. So yeah. Uh, and then round nine, I played against Malefix. Uh, Malefix was a really scary matchup. Game one, he beat me with Malefix Cyber End. Game 2, I don't quite remember how I beat him, and then Game 3, he went Doom Cal set 5, and I somehow beat him, I can't quite remember. I know I had Electric Virus, uh, his Malefic Cyber Rend at one point and swung. Uh, and then round 10 for Day 2, I played against another windups, and the guy went Loop, BLS, Loop, BLS, both games, so couldn't do anything about it. Overall thoughts, the deck was really powerful, really aggressive. Um, the Ojama Trio, again, like, this was my tech card. Uh, a lot of reasons why I played behind this, because uh, you need monsters for our Tefnit to go off. So if like, you give them a monster with that, you can just go into it. Um, Gaia has Pierce, so it does an extra... Um, it does the 16 plus the 3 from them dying, so it's 19. So if you have double Gaia, that's 19, 19, and then you can just swing over the next one and swing. Um, it's not going to be game if you give them the trio immediately. Uh, against Insectors, when they're looping you with this uh, Hornet, uh, Zekcalibur, you chain the trio, they're only going to get the one summon. 
so it's going to stop them if I'm down. If they go Levier, Rabbit, and you respond with the Rabbit's effects to a Jama Trio, their Rabbit fizzles. Um, Wind-ups, it actually did help me, uh, so I was happy about that. Chaos Dragons, if they go Lila Pop and you chain the trio, their board is effectively only going to be ever a Soldier and a Darkness Metal brought out from a Light Pulsar somehow, but all that they can do is Dark Hole, the Ojama Trio tokens. And if you can Telegraph, Dark Hole, and can't do all 8,000 in a single turn, you set this, and they Dark Hole, and you chain this, and kill them, like he kills himself, so... That was a couple of reasons why I used the Jama Trio. A lot of people really started thinking it was a lot smarter and a lot better. Um, but overall, I thought the deck was fun. I had fun with a bunch of my friends that went. Uh, Team Invictus was there. Um, and then I just saw a bunch of other people like Joe Giolando and uh, Frazier Smith and, and just, just all the pro players. So I had fun. Um, thanks, guys. Uh, I hope you guys like the deck. And if you have any questions, just PM me. Alright, later guys.